Hi, I'm Sharon Bill. As my lessons progress through the ABRSM Grade 3 Discovering Music Theory Workbook, I now move on to Chapter 5, where I look at the new topic of the melodic minor scale. And so now, in addition to the harmonic minor scale, we now learn a new scale format, the melodic minor scale, and we'll look at these new scale structures up to four sharps and four flats. The full lesson can be found on my Patreon channel. If you visit patreon.com forward slash Sharon Bill, you can find the lesson there. And you'll find the links to that lesson in the cards and in the description box below. After this short little video, you'll see sample examples of this lesson just to show you how I work with you every single exercise, step by step, just as if I were sitting right next to you. And once you feel that you are ready to take your ABRSM Grade 3 Music Theory exam, I've written an exam technique guide, how to take your ABRSM Music Theory exam. It's full of tips and hints on how to be best prepared for your exam and also how to make the very best use of your time on exam day. This book is available from Amazon, either in ebook format or as a paperback, and you can find the links to this in the cards and in the description box below. All of the information that you require can be found on my website. If you visit www.sharonbill.com, you'll find it's all there. Enjoy your studies. Bye. And then, now let's look at this new melodic minor. And this comes in three stages. Stage one is the same, we need the key signature of the relative major. And then stage two is ascending in addition to this key signature we have to raise the 6th and the 7th, that's ascending, and then coming back down, it's the key signature only again. So we have the key signature, generally speaking, going up we have the key signature plus the raised 6th and 7th, coming down we have the key signature only. And so we have the key signature again, so there's step 1. And then step two, we raise the sixth of the seventh as accidentals. However, if you notice, this then almost becomes like A major because A major has F sharps, C sharps and G sharps. So the only thing here is this minor third, one, two, three, is C natural instead of C sharp. Other than that, it's exactly like the major scale at the top end of the scale. And so we have the descending version, step three, where we come down in the key signature again, just the key signature. So it's almost as if we're coming down really in, what we're doing is we're coming down in the natural minor scale. And so, and so we know that E minor is related to G major. And so that would have a key signature of F sharps. So that will be present. And then because this is the ascending version, we need a raised sixth and seventh degrees of the scale. So here we have an E and F sharp. So that would be part of the key signature. And then one, two, three, four, five. This is the sixth. This is the seventh, and they've been raised as an accidental, and so that's correct. Minor. And just because I can, I'm going to go ascending and descending. So if we start, I'm just going to use uh, semi briefs and I don't have to worry about stems. So starting on bass clef A, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so that's the ascending version. Then if I come back down, 
we're going space, line, space, line, space, line, space, just about fit that on. Now A minor is related to C major, which has no sharps or flats. So step one is key signature of C major. Step two, going upwards, is the raised sixth and seventh. And then, because I'm going to do both, descending is the key signature only again. And so, we have a key signature of nothing, but then I need to raise the sixth and seventh. One, two, three, four, five, six is F sharp, seven is G sharp. And then coming back down, it would be G natural and F natural. So they now are no longer raised. We're just coming down in the key of C major.